Hello and welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today's video, we're talking about important information you need to know if you use Canva to make KDP covers, KDP interiors, and sell print on demand products. So if you're an author or if you are a creator of print on demand products, if you use Canva for your creative projects, if you sell templates, this video is for you. I'm going to reference a recent video that was published by May Arroyo. Uh, I do apologize if my pronunciation is not fully correct. She did a video recently breaking down the Canva license for print on demand and Amazon KDP. And I found that video very helpful. And I also wrote an in-depth article in Medium, which I will link in the description box below that highlights the uh, Canva rules and also um, the screenshots of what was going on in the Canva Facebook group regarding this discussion. So you should know one thing, if you use Canva to create print on demand products or KDP covers or interiors and you use the templates and the elements as they are without changing them this is illegal and it is against Canva's license you will risk your account being terminated and you will also risk the possibility of having a lawsuit filed against you now you can use Canva templates and elements if under one condition, if you do change them to make them unique. So that if you've been watching me on the here on the channel, I do talk about Creative Fabrica and it is similar to that Canva rule in regards to if you do get elements from Creative Fabrica, you cannot publish them as they are. You do need to change them around. You do need to add other elements. You do need to add a uh, text or background or uh, any sort of other element to it to make it unique and this includes changing the colors adding text and adding a background as one of the examples so if you will be just fine if you use the templates and the elements in canva to create a unique design so in the video uh, that may did she provided some wonderful insights on how to make the most of canvas licenses for print on demand and use the canva correctly and responsibly i will link her video in the description box below so you can go ahead and view that after this one so the points that she made first of all is create your image yourself or hire a designer canva offers a wide range of pre-made images and graphics still in order to ensure that your designs are truly unique and original may does emphasize the importance of creating your images or hiring a designer to make them for you so be bold think outside the box create custom images that represent your brand this will add creativity it will add freshness to your design and it will make them stand out in a saturated market um, personally, I've recently invested in a Procreate app um, and I do intend to create my illustrations and elements. If you don't feel like being artsy or if you don't want uh, want to draw or compile your own elements and designs, you can either hire a designer on Fiverr, for example, or just simply take the extra effort to make the design elements that you use from Canva unique before you publish them. It'll only take a few clicks and it will save you so much time, so much headache later on down the track. The other thing that was mentioned is exploring other design resources. So while well, Canva is a wonderful, fantastic tool and I have not yet canceled my pro subscription to Canva because I do use it for so many other things as well. Uh, May does suggest exploring other design resources and she recommends Kittle. I have not used Kittle before, but I intend to look into it. I personally use Creative Fabrica, which is my go-to for professional designed graphics and templates. And Creative Fabrica offers a vast collection of print on demand assets with full commercial license, which allows us the creators to use the um, the elements in our designs without worrying about copyright issues however you do still need to combine these assets with other elements to create unique designs 
Creative Fabrica has guidelines on using their designs correctly. So please follow them to avoid any infringement issues. And it could be that again, as simple as adding, adding some elements to the Creative Fabrica designs and saving yourself a lot of trouble down the track. Consider Canva alternatives as well. So it's always good to have multiple options. Explore different platforms to find the one that fits your needs the most. And May did also introduce Kittle as a alternative to Canva because it provides a handful of pre-on-demand ready-to-go templates. You can add them, you can edit them as you like, and Kittle offers affordable pricing and also to, appears to be more of a pre-on-demand friendly platform as well. Alternatively, you can also use BookBolt, Etsy, and Creative Market. Although BookBolt is more for KDP interiors and covers, you can also use the elements in Book, BookBolt or the uh, uh, editing features in BookBolt to create unique print-on-demand stickers, t-shirts, and other products as well. My favorite feature on BookBolt is the uh, feature where it you can uh, do the text as a different kind of foil pattern. For example, make a gold foil or a silver foil text. And these do sell really, really well for me on Redbubble. So be mindful of licensing agreements because creating unique and original designs while adhering to licensing guidelines is really essential to avoid legal issues. And in May's video, she highlights the need to be mindful of Canva's licenses for print on demand and KDP. And please always follow the guidelines from other design resources that you are using. Then again, Canva is a fantastic tool for creating print on demand products and KDP covers and interiors. But it is really essential to go the extra mile to make your designs unique and original to avoid the issues. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed today's content, like, share and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.